Hello. <laughs> so today is a come to be an M. Yeah, very exciting. It's a Monday, and how better to spend a Monday than come to B and M and Poundland in one freaking day? Woo! It's like Christmas all over again. Isn't it? Don't say we never treat you. I'm here with my beautiful friend Gemma. Hello. We're gonna tear up the aisles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Supermarket sleep. <laughs> is with your like because you're so well spoken that sounds so wrong coming it's, out your it's mouth it's not I'm, yeah we're going to we're tear, going to tear, up tear it up bruv <laughs> tear it up so yeah we're gonna i'm probably gonna buy the same generic stuff that i always buy and then turn it into a haul because that's, that's what you've got to do yeah that's, it's illegal to not do that but basically. i do need lots and lots and lots of cleaning products mm. so it's about to get the question is, Exciting. is B&M going to have good so flora scents or is it going to oh, be country? Not anymore because now everybody knows about it. They oh, ran yeah, our little secret. Yeah. <laughs> Gemma's telling everyone where to go get the secrets of Sorry, flora stash. Sorry, the secret's out. Um, but yeah, I, we'll see how ransacked it is. We're going to take you with us. Enjoy. And we've also got a new pound land. Oh yeah. We haven't even been there. Yeah. So it's the first, first impressions. impressions. Oh, so many clickbaits for this title. <laughs> Yeah. Um, anyone tried this fake Nutella? You get a lot more money right for your money. Pound. Pound. <laughs> Pound. <laughs> I need Caramac for work. Where are you, Caramac? Always need some of these. Does this take you back to your childhood? Now, was there anything better than going to Nanny and Grandad's? I don't know why, it was always Nanny and Grandad that got you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, like a selection pack, but these come with a bowl. I mean, for a pound, is there anything better? Literally the most fun you can have staying in with this game. The Isle of Dreams. Cleaning. I never know why anyone buys these sorts of things from like supermarkets. They're always like double the price. Save your money, guys. If you're a hincher, you'll know what I mean. These are two that I've never smelt before. Am I the only weirdo that does this? Really affordable and really cute and different. Love a good pun. Wouldn't these make like the best? I think this would make a really good makeup brush holder. Yeah, it would. Bathroom Isle has got it going on. <laughs> I'm pining for Christmas again when I see things like this. But also want it to be summer. I can't make my mind up. I would love this if this is just polka dot. <sighs> but I don't know about you, every time I've bought something like this fancy, it like wears off, but this is really cute for Valentine's. Can't think why it's reduced. <sighs> I feel really anxious because, oh, one, because of the lighting. Two, because there's a lot of staff in here today, a lot of staff, and I <sighs> just feel anxious. And Gemma feels the same. It's just, it's just a it's bit a embarrassing. Very overwhelming experience, mm. actually. To be honest, being a little bit much. This lighting. Oh. Yeah, Hallelujah. Makes, <laughs> no, don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> Exposure. And, uh, I feel like if you were in the right setting, these clocks would look really fancy. Mm. But um. Obviously, when you're in here and you don't have the inspo, maybe not, but I've watched a few big YouTubers. I think it's either that one or this one, and they've put it in their kitchen and it looks really expensive. Always need these when I come in. Boring purchase of the day. 
think these sorts of things are really good because they're an inexpensive, really nice gift if you're going to a wedding because there's a lot of pressure when you go to weddings to buy expensive things. Also, if I had children, I would totally be getting one of these. How adorable are these? And for the price as well, I mean, too very. I've been struggling to have my cup of tea in the mornings and get to work on time. So I think I'm gonna grab one of these and then I can take it with me. Well, that's the plan anyway. No, game changer. I've just realized it's not suitable for dishwasher. Therefore, it will not be coming home with me. Sorry, goodbye. Thank you, next. Why is anything mini just so much cuter? I want you. But do I have any need for you? No. This one I'm talking about. Easter. Oh. Management announcement. Yeah. Count the bombs. <laughs> My gosh. These are cute. I love Easter. I can't actually believe she's walked past this and not made a little quote. And you didn't do a quote or anything. But you always do a quote for me. Have a quote? Yeah. I thought you'd walk past it and go, <laughs> but what would I wear? We always get something out of her. Oh my God, Gemma. First of all, do you know that I have an obsession with popping spots? Second of all, create a poop. I mean, I think I might buy it for Sean. It, oh my God, with corn. I'm gonna buy it for Sean for Valentine. <laughs> Oh my god, any 80s slash 90s kids out there, this used to be called Mr. Pop. And somebody tell me why these squishies are so in right now, I don't get it. It's just like a dog toy. What am I missing? These are fun, so they're just normal highlighters, but they look like paint tubes. The inner novelty person that I am wants this. But I know, like every other pen that I've got, it will go in a drawer to die. Because this is taking me back to my childhood. I want to sniff them. Silly sense. Getting high part two is in it, b and Is it getting high part two in b and <laughs> This time it's with sniffer pens. Is there oh. a snip, scratch and sniff? I like it when you can get a preview. Yeah, scratch and sniff. I'm going to have to open them up. These are a really good idea. Do you have like the fancy Ooh. ones that you fill up? No. No, I, I always have that, that it could soak stuff in up. Look that. I mean, it doesn't have to be for a wedding. No. I feel like that would be really nice. Really good fun time. Or you could make your own fun. I love, I mean, again, I don't have kids, but I love that they've got like Disney branded things in here. Who at our age still likes eating rusks? Asking for a friend. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Okay then. So really good, a little four pack of posters. So, need to update you on the abrupt cut off from Poundland. So we were filming in there, I think we didn't even get to aisle two before, like Gemma said, there's someone watching us, we're gonna get like told off. And then lo and behold, we did. Basically said, we can't film in there even though we're making a video to promote Poundland and B&M, all that is great in there. But yeah, so sorry there's not much content from it, but it's all about B&M, they didn't mind at all. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this somewhat half-hearted vlog, because like I say, we couldn't do anything that we wanted to do in Poundland, even though they had some good stuff. Um, so yeah, sorry about the content. It wasn't meant to be that way and I will see you in my next video which will not involve a shop because now I feel like I'm scarred a little bit. Anyway, see you in my next video. Bye!